According to latest media reports, the AMC A Mark II is expected to be produced in greater numbers than the Mark I, which will not just be a Mark I variant with a new engine, but certain sixth-generation characteristics like the automatic takeoff and landing capability are being planned by the Aeronautical Development Agency for the Mark II variant. Top experts have said that the ATOL capability is also a crucial capability for the unmanned combat aerial vehicle, which will have a projected maximum takeoff weight of 13 tons and will have a wingspan greater than that of the Tejas Mark I. The unmanned combat aerial vehicle will be powered by a non afterburning turbofan engine developed from the core of the cavalry jet engine, and an initial sum of 500 crore rupees has been sanctioned for this purpose. The director of the Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that the agency is working on the development of a new carrier-based twin-engine fighter jet for the Indian Navy, and the first rollout will happen by 2025, and the first flight will be conducted by 2026. The twin-engine deck-based fighter jet will be powered by two F-414 engines, and will have a maximum takeoff weight of around 24 tons, which puts it in the same class as the Russian MiG-29K and French Rafale Marine fighter jet. The Indian Navy had issued request for information to supply 57 carrier bond fighter jets, and it can now be assumed that the Indian Navy will procure the indigenous twin-engine carrier-based fighter jet, while it invests in the fifth-generation naval AMCA program. The Strategic Forces Command of the Indian Army have conducted the first night test of the Agni-3 surface-to-surface ballistic system from a mobile launcher at the Integrated Test Range. The test of the 3,500 km range surface-to-surface system was carried out to establish the repeatability of its performance. According to latest media reports, the test of the K-4 submarine-launched nuclear-capable system has now been scheduled to mid-December, as the earlier window in November had to be cancelled due to a cyclone in the eastern coast. The 3,500 km range K-4 is designed for the Arihant class of nuclear submarines, and it is likely to be tested from a fixed underwater pontoon as part of the developmental test. The National Aerospace Laboratories is looking to start the mass production of the Cyrus Mark II by 2025, and has also offered it as an replacement to the Dornier 228 manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics. The Mark II variant will have a better maximum takeoff weight, a comparatively higher range than the Dornier 228, and will also feature full glass cockpit with autopilot, and it will also be able to operate from high altitude airfields. India and Japan held their first Foreign and Defence Ministerial 2 plus 2 dialogue yesterday, and they discussed the challenges posed by the networks operating from Pakistan. Japan has said that Pakistan needs to take resolute action, and it needs to fully comply with the action plan prescribed by the Financial Action Task Force. Japan has also rejected to sign a Chinese-backed regional trade agreement without India.